Hey, Giacomo. What's going on? Where are you, man? Yeah, we were supposed to film like 30 minutes ago. What? You're, you're in Italy? What do you mean? Hello? Hello? Ladies, looks like I'm flying solo this time. Today, I'll be smelling and rating the perfumes that you guys requested the most. Cue the music. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Andrea, also known as Curly Sense, and thank you so much for stopping by. How many times do you think you've said that in the amount of videos you've made? Like a million times. <laughs> <laughs> for those who don't already know, beside me we have uh, this fine gentleman. His name is Anthony and he's from Canada. And I will have him smell 11 of the most requested popular fragrances that you guys asked for in the comments. Anthony? Yes. I want your honest opinions. You know the, the drill by now. I know the drill We've by now. We've done this so many times. I'm, I'm a veteran <laughs> at this. I want your honest opinions. I want you to smell them. Let me know if you like them, if you hate them, whatever comes on your mind. Mm -hmm. And then I will have you rate them from one to 10. Amazing. Sounds good? Sounds great. Let's do it. So guys, I just want to give a quick shout out to the sponsors of today's video, which is Fragrance.com. If you don't already know, Fragrance.com is a discounter website that sometimes gives up to 80% of retail prices. I've been using FragranceNet for a couple of years now. I've never had any issues. They sell 100% authentic products. And let me tell you, if you love sales like I do, this is definitely the place to go. I know some people are scared to shop online, but I guarantee you they are 100% legit. Also, I have a special discount code for you guys in the description box down below. So if you're interested, check it out. And make sure you watch until the end of the video because we are giving away these two little lipstick samples from FragranceNet. Um, so if you wanna know how to win these, we will let you know at the end of the video, so stay tuned. So Mr. Anthony, are you ready to have some fun? I'm so ready, but I don't see any snacks around here. What happened to the snacks like last video? Oh, I, I got you. Oh, nice. See? I was hungry. So here we go with fragrance number one. Take All it right. away. Let's see what we got. Hmm, that's off to a pleasant start. Okay. It's not blowing my socks off right mm -hmm. away, but it's pleasant on the lighter side. Okay, so I feel like this is kind of, I don't want to say typical, but I get like a fruity floral vibe that I feel like I may have smelt before. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, I would say daytime, probably very versatile. You could wear it spring, summer. Uh, there's something in there that I'm not crazy about though. I, I can't say what it is, but um, yeah. I feel like this is just like your run of the mill cla classic female perfume. Yep. It's nice. It kind of reminds me of, I think something we smelt in a past video, maybe Chloe. Maybe. But I, I like Chloe better. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go 6.5 out of 10. 6.5 Not crazy out of about 10. it, not bad. All right. So Anthony gave Armani C EDP a 6.5 out of 10. On to fragrance number two. Here you go. Thank you. Okay. It's one of them sweet ones, isn't it? Mm. What, is it the kind of sweetness that you like or you don't like like other videos? I get licorice. Oh. For some reason I'm getting licorice. Um, is okay. that good? It's um, not really feeling it right now. Mm. Okay, so it's sweet, not too sweet though. Maybe even a little bit powdery. Mm -hmm. It's kind of subtle. Yeah. If that makes sense. Do you find it to be classy? Maybe not classy, but I can see this on maybe a more mature woman, maybe 30 and up. Okay. It's not bad. As I said, subtle, it kind of has like a sweetness, maybe vanilla or something. And I, I get that licorice vibe. I don't know why, mm. but you know what? Surprisingly, I think I like this a little more than the first one, Okay. even though it's kind of sweet. Yeah, it's nice. Subtle, again, daytime, maybe more mature woman. And your rating? I'm going to go with a, a seven, seven for this ten. one. Still not, Still not crazy about it. Okay. So Anthony gave Mon Guerlain EDP by Guerlain a 7 out of 10. Next up we have fragrance number 3. Lay it on me. Let's go. Oh. That's sexy. Oh my god, now we're talking. Okay, okay. I hit the spot. That's really good. Uh -huh. Wow, okay, so this is gonna sound weird. Mm. But I mean this in the best way possible. You know, like when a, 
a woman washes their hair with like some some herbal essences and like she walks past you and you're just like, oh my God, what okay. does that smell? Like it smells like a really luxurious shampoo, but in perfume form and way better than herbal essences or whatever. I see. You're one of those guys, huh? One of what guys? Is that like... I mean, when a woman's hair smells great and <laughs> she passes by you, oh my God. <laughs> Does this have jasmine in it? Mm -hmm. Giacomo would have liked this too, right? Yeah. This is fresh, but for some reason I find it seductive and yes. I find it sexy. Yeah. That's really good. I'm gonna go with a. I'm gonna go with a nine out of ten for that. Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. So Anthony gave J'adore by Dior a nine out of ten. This is actually a fragrance that I've been wanting to own for the longest time since I was in high school. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. Some girl used to wear it, and I was fascinated by this fragrance and. It's definitely that's a must. That's a damn good one, ladies. Get it. So how are we doing? I'm feeling great. You feeling good? My nose is feeling strong. <laughs> All right. I'm feeling ready for the next one. Well, then I'm hitting you with the next one. There you go. Thank you. Okay, so I know what this one is. You probably do. So first of all, this is a 10 out of 10 fragrance for me. What? Ladies. That's a 10 out of 10 fragrance for me. This is Baccarat Rouge 540, mm -hmm. right? So to me, this is sweet done right. You know, I don't typically like like very sugary sweet fragrances. Yeah. But this one literally smells like burnt sugar. Yeah. With some other stuff, but I don't know. This is beautiful to me. It's very simple, but the way it smells in the air, it's it's incredible. Mm -hmm. The the only thing I will say about Baccarat is I smell it actually quite a bit on the street, like I can recognize it very easily. Yeah. But um, this is something that I actually want to own a bottle of one day. That price tag though, oh my goodness. Tell me about it. Um, but I, I think it's completely unisex. Yep. So this is like a really good fragrance that you can buy with your significant other and share, share the bottle it. since it's like yeah. super expensive. So yeah, 10 out of 10. Perfecto. So Anthony gave Baccarat Rouge 540. A 10 out of 10. Yes. We are halfway there. Are we halfway there already? Yes, it went by so fast. Oh my goodness. Would you like some snacks? I'm good for now, but thank you. <laughs> there you I'm go. Ready. I'm ready for more fragrances, yeah. no time for snacks. Go. Okay. This smells nasty. What? Open your mind. Open your mind. Is this a joke? No, open your mind. Wow, this smells strange. I don't even know what it smells like. <laughs> oh my it doesn't God. smell good though. Why? What? What is it? It's okay, it's kind of sweet, but like a very strange sweetness. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, this has something in there that I, I, like, I can't describe it. <laughs> is that a weird reaction to this fragrance? I, I'm not saying anything. Oh God. Can I see? I don't like that at all. You know what though? I'll give points for uniqueness. Okay. But I would never want to smell a woman wearing this, to be honest. I definitely see where you're coming from. It's very, how do you call it? Out there? Out there. <laughs> <laughs> out there fragrance? It's a very out there fragrance. Oh wow, no. That's a no from me. I'm no. gonna give that like a, I don't know. I'll give it two points for uniqueness. What? Yeah. Oh my God. All right. You gave it two out of 10 for yeah. Aura by Mugler. I definitely see where you're coming from. It's a yeah. very strange, weird fragrance in so a way. Do you find it strange too? I do, yeah. It's definitely a fragrance that I, I don't gravitate towards. Okay. You know, and, and women like this though? Women like it, but also there's other women that also don't like it. Okay. So... Yeah, I can see it's like hit or miss for yeah, some Yeah, it's a hit or miss. It's thumbs down. That's okay. Ba, 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 ba. It's a trap. Ba. Hello. Wait a minute. It's a trap. I wonder if we can get some like ASMR going here. Oh, the popcorn. <laughs> popcorn stale. <laughs> I always wanted to do that. On to fragrance number six. Oh. Oh, Ooh. hello. Ooh. Hello there. Hello there, madame. <laughs> I like this. Mm -hmm. Why? You know what? This is um, sweet, mm -hmm. but I like it. I get almond. Mm -hmm. 
So they're almond in here? Yes. Ooh, it's kind of unique. It has that, okay, now we're into like the sexy nighttime vibes. This is like a, a sexy night out perfume. You're going out to like a nice lounge, nice bar. You're dressed in like black or red. Mm -hmm. And you're, you're trying to seduce some people with this one. Tell me about it. It's got a lot of like uh, depth. It feels very round. Round. Round and deep. Warm. Warm. That's a good word for yeah. it too. It's a very warm fragrance. Wow. And it's it's kind of unique with that. Yeah. What I think is almond. Wow. I really like that actually. I'm going to go with uh, 8.5 because I think I like that Dior one better. 8.5. 8.5 for this one. Very nice. Okay, you are smelling Hypnotic Poison by Dior. Oh, another Dior. Another Dior, okay. and this was highly, highly, highly requested. Wow, okay. So the ladies are happy right now. Okay. I see you, Dior. <laughs> I see you, ladies. That's yeah. a nice one. Uh, let me tell you, I burned the clubs with this fragrance. You burned the clubs I did. back in the day? I did. <laughs> I did. Amazing. <laughs> nice. Serving you fragrance number seven. I hope it's delicious. While I serve myself some snacks. <laughs> hmm. Okay, I think we hit one now. You what? <laughs> I, said, <laughs> I said I think we hit one now that's okay. a little generic in my opinion. Oh. You know what this smells like? Mm. This smells like if you walk into a Macy's and one of those like annoying sales, sales oh ladies God. is like, Hey, you want to try the newest uh, Dolce & Gabbana? Oh my. And I'm guessing this is probably going to be like one of your their best sellers or something at Macy's. It has a bit of a floral. It has also has like a kind of sugary sweetness, which I get in a lot of these kind of so-called generic mm -hmm. perfumes. Mm -hmm. It's not bad. Kind of reminds me of like La Via Belle or something like that, yeah. like in that yeah, yeah, realm. Yeah, I don't see that. I'm going to go, this deserves a seven down the middle. It's good. Nothing crazy, it's just like kind of basic. Okay. Seven out of 10. Like, seven out of 10. Yeah. Okay, so Sorry. seven out of 10 for Flower Bomb by Victor and Roth. On to fragrance number eight. My goodness, came out of nowhere. <laughs> like bam, bam. Oh, wow. That's very pungent. It is. Sour. Sour? Sour, I get sour. Hmm. Like sour, kind of grassy. Okay. Kind of bug spray. Bug spray. Yeah, like, a, I don't know, like, a, it reminds me kind of of like um, pesticide on grass. Oh my God. But kind of unique. It has a sweetness in there too, which I kind of like. Do you, uh, can you identify the sweetness in there? Does it remind you of something? I have no idea actually. It's in the background though. Mm. What I mainly get is this like soury grass pesticide thing. Oh my God. It's unique though. Mm -hmm. Not very feminine. Okay, I can see Sorry, that. were you gonna ask me something? I wanted to ask you if it reminds you of something that we've smelled in a previous video. Maybe, because I remember saying bug spray in the last, in one of the videos. And grass, yeah. Is this something similar? It is, so. Wait, wait, I, I didn't oh, rate it yet. Okay. Three out of 10. What? No. Okay, four out of 10. Really? Come on, man. I'm not a big fan. No. It, it has something in there that's good, but yeah, I'm not, I don't know. Maybe on paper, I'm not feeling it. All right, hold up for a second. Do you remember this baby right here? I do. That's the one where you like knock someone's head out with it or something? No, it's the one that you... Oh, uh, you poke, poke, poke the eye. Poke the eye. Okay. <laughs> so I definitely see where you're coming from. You said it was grassy and uh, back spray-ish. Spray and you said the same exact thing about this fragrance right, right. here. I and remember. it makes sense because they have the same DNA, but this other one that you've smelled today has chocolate. So... Okay, I can see siblings. that. Nice. Yeah. So Anthony gave Angel Muse by Mugler a 4 out of 10. Anthonito! <laughs> yes? Three fragrances to go. Oh my goodness. We're almost done. Guys, this video flew by. Without yeah. Giacomo, it's like so short. It's super short. Giacomo, we miss you, man. This next one's for you, bro. Mm -hmm. The only one you the should never one. buy. <laughs> Here you go. Oh. Thanksgiving. Mm. I don't know why, but I think of Thanksgiving when I smell this. Elaborate. This has, it seems like it has a lot of cinnamon or some like Christmassy, not, or Thanksgiving spice. holiday -ish. Am I right? Yeah, 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 yeah. okay. Yes, holiday-ish. It smells very like the holidays. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like a lot of cinnamon or something. Kind of reminds me of like maybe a tea, you know, everyone's in at home by the fireplace drinking some tea with cinnamon mm. in it or something like that. But there's also like a, a fruitiness to it as okay. well. Not a happy fruitiness though, like 
some of the other ones we smelled, not like a super fresh okay. fruitiness. Kind of dark fruity. Do you like it? I'm liking it more than I originally thought I would when I first smelt it. It's very different. It is. A and, very unique fragrance. But I will say this is definitely for mature women. Mm. I could not see this on like a teenage or someone in their early 20s. Okay. I would say maybe like 30 and up. Okay. Kind of classy, kind of unique. Mm -hmm. And Thanksgiving. I, I definitely agree with you on that. Yeah. I feel this is a fragrance that I will want to smell when I'm 40. When you're 40? Yeah. Damn, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's definitely have, has a more mature feel to it. Yeah. I like it, it's unique. I'm not crazy for it. I'm gonna go 6.5. 6.5? Not bad. Mostly for uniqueness. Okay. Yeah. So Anthony gave Christian Dior Addict a 6.5 out of 10. 6.5. Moving on to the next fragrance. Mm, 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 mm. This is how we do it. Hey, all right. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. What? What? Holy smokes. What? Wait a second. Sorry, I had to make a trip to the bathroom real quick. What? to get this. So this right here smells identical to this thing we have in the bathroom. Oh my God. Like an air refreshener. Let me see. Okay, not exactly, but in the same realm. <laughs> Let me see. Oh. oh, they're very similar. So this smells like an air refreshener. It smells cheap, overly sweet, but not in a good way or mm. a sexy way or mm. anything. Oh no, kind of soapy too. Almost like a, almost like a hand, yeah, put, yeah, put that away. <laughs> like a hand soap, mm -hmm. like a cheap hand soap. I see. think I said that before for another, something else. But... Yeah, okay, yeah, 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 I get you. Oh, that's bad. I'm gonna give that like a, like a two out of 10. A two out of 10? Not a fan at okay. all. So Anthony gave Mon Paris EDT by Yves Saint Laurent. A two out of 10. A two out of 10. Oh my God, no bueno. Anthony, we are at the end. This is our- This is the end. This is the end. So oh, is Vanera. <laughs> guys, I think the fire alarm just went off. <laughs> From... No, 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 no. Sorry guys, we had some technical difficulties. Somebody almost set the building on fire. Yes. But we're back. We're alive and well. <laughs> I just wanted to say thank you so much for being part of this video. I know it's nice. been a ride. This is the second time we're filming, but uh, we're here. We made it. Made it. And one more fragrance to go. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Still, since I know Giacomo's not here, he got a strong fan base, you know? Yes, yes. But I hope this uh, video was still entertaining. Yes, always. So what do we got for the last one? Here you go. Thank you. Let's end with a banger. Let's see, hopefully. Mmm. Mm. I like this. <laughs> what do we get? So we're kind of back in that sexy nighttime realm now. Ooh, it has something in there that I can't pinpoint, but it's mm. very sexy. Mm -hmm. A little sweet, dark, rich, mysterious. I like mysterious. like those words, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, that's really good. So I can see this in fall and winter. Definitely. It seems very strong, so I think it would hold up. Mm -hmm. Nighttime, once again, I feel like it, it has that sweetness, so it's playful. So you're going out, It's this is not like staying home. You're gonna go out and you're going to seduce some people with this on. You mean business. You mean business, sexy business. <laughs> Interesting that you're saying that. Wow. Yeah. That's like a nine out of 10. That's a nine out of 10. I really like this. Interesting. Nine out of 10. Nine out of 10. What am I smelling? So Anthony gave Armani Code Cashmere EDP a nine out of 10, mm. but hold your thoughts. I would like you to smell these. Something else for me. <sighs> Which one do you prefer? No, this is better. This is better? Oh, they're kind of similar. Yes. This has a bit of citrus up top or something. It does. Though, but it's still sexy and deep. Mm -hmm. It's funny because you've said, you've smelled that before on the first video and you gave it super, super high rating. Did I? And that's the fragrance that you said, sexy business. Wait, Armani Code, right? Yes, that's oh. the Armani Code. So they're siblings, very similar DNAs. Wow. So... It, this one's better. They, I, 
It's the original yeah. compared to yeah, yeah, yeah. cashmere. Original, compared to cashmere. Ladies wanted you to smell to compare. cashmere to compare wow. cashmere. So. Well, I would say that you can't go wrong with either one, yeah. but I think I like the one I smelt in the previous Our video cool. better. Yeah. So yeah, 9 out of 10. So the winner of today's video rated by Anthony is none other than Baccarat Rouge. 540. Oh yes. But don't get excited. We have a second place and it is a tie between J'adore by Dior and Armani Code Cashmere. So Anthony. Oh, you're gonna make me break the tie, huh? Yes. Put me on the spot here. My goodness. Okay, take this with a grain of salt, ladies. I'm gonna have to go with this one. And this one is J'adore by Dior. It's super close though. Like J'adore, daytime, cashmere, nighttime. I would say they're almost equally as good. I just tend to lean to more jasmine and fresh fragrances. Mm -hmm. so. I mean. Get both though, amazing. Yeah, let's be real though. J'adore is sexiness in a bottle. It's damn good. Yeah. Giveaway time. I'm Thonagi, lead the way. All right, so in order to enter the giveaway, to win either Armani C EDP or Armani Code, ca code cashmere. cashmere. Excuse me. <laughs> All you have to do is give the video a thumbs up. So, well, you gotta be subscribed to the channel in the Absolutely. first place. Sorry, I should have said that first. Absolutely. And most importantly, leave one comment down below. Now, ladies who are international, this will be US only for now. COVID yes. and shipping times, it's crazy. So we're only gonna do US for this. Yes. But leave a comment anyways, letting us know if you enjoyed the video and just give a give a like and a comment to support her. Curly Sense. Uh, she does an amazing job. Um, it's not easy curating all of this. So, you know, definitely show her some support in the comments. And uh, yeah, thank you for having me. I mean, let's be real. You're gonna get all the comments, so. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you on the next one.